welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'll be making this here and this is my isiru this took me <laughs> time to clean so i had to clean this uh, isiru today and cut them to the size i want my isiru to be and this is the brain i've already removed it i'll be showing you how i'm going to make use of this and my account i'm already um pounded it and it's dissolving in, in warm water and my onions i'm going to be using one to cook the seal one for design uh, for designing the seal and my calabash not big here i'm going to grind them to powder my fresh pepper i didn't have um, i took this one out from the freezer that's why it's kind of uh, looking frozen i'm going to grind them and otazi leaf i have a fresh one that it was a little than a dried one i'm going to be making use of both of them my maggie no i'm using no today my palm oil very important for your ECU. so let's start so i'll be using uh, my pressure cooker to cook the ECU so it won't take time just pour everything into the pot pour in your sliced onions add your sliced chili add your maggi i'll be using one and half one and half one a whole one of this one and half of this one mm. Turn on your heat and allow it to start cooking first before adding water. So let it uh, steam. When that is uh, steaming, I'm going to pour the bread into the bowl. Then, all right, seal it. Then add it to the pot of the bread. So it's going to cook. Now let's prepare the ingredients. So this is six uh, pieces of uh, ihur calabash nutmeg. So I'm going to pound it in my mortar. That is powdered already. Now let's check out the meat. Then cover it to start project cooking it. I just rinsed my mortar. I rinsed it so that it, whatever that is left in the mortar won't go to waste. We don't waste things in this house. <laughs> so now stir, stir properly. Because you don't need, you don't need too much water in the. In making this seal, okay. then come, um, add your um, add the brain back and cover it. Then cover it. So once you start boiling, I will set the time. While that is cooking, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my ubaka, ubaka as well. I just took it out from the freezer and used water and rinsed it. So set that one aside. Now the pressure cooker is making this. So I'm going to set the time. 15 minutes. I'm going to pound my pepper. Pound tails. Alright. The meat is done. Um, this thing is done cooking. Yes. 
just the way I want it. It doesn't have much water in it. Scoop out the grain. Okay. Yeah. Set aside. Hmm. See that? So this cooked for 15 minutes. That was enough. Mm -hmm. Set that aside. I'll be using the pot. I'll be using this pot to prepare my sauce for my seal. Alright, let's start. Add, um, to prepare the sauce, add the oil, palm oil into the pot. This should be enough. Then start sieving the the potash, the mixed potash. Start pouring the edible potash into your palm oil and stir while you do that. Yeah, don't pour too much, just pour a little and once everything incorporates. Now, I'm using my finger to mash the grain so that it will pieces. <laughs> I forgot. Then add it. Next is you add the grain. This brand will help your sauce to the tip. Then you mix again. Once you're sure that everything is mixed properly, add your otazi leaves. I'm using both the dried and the fresh one. My fresh one was not so much, so I added the dry one. So pour everything. Once you pour in your this you mix as well. Then add the hero and mix. At this time, add your pepper. Take my pepper. Anyway, it's busy doing drama there. Mix it as well. Then your ubaka or uba for it <clears throat> and if you're not using uba at this point now it's time for you to add your goat meat if you're not using uba after mixing that then pour your goat meat my goat meat Goat meat doesn't have water because the meat doesn't, the steel doesn't need water. So I'll just transfer everything to my sauce now. Now mix it, mix everything. Mix and mix and mix. <laughs> now taste for salt and pepper. Mm, this smells delicious already. I think I might be adding a little upazi. Mm. Oh my god, this is really delicious and it's spicy. So I don't need salt. I won't be using the other half of Maggi. So I used only one nor and a half, one and a half nor to, to cook my isewu and heat it up for for two to three minutes on low on medium heat or low heat. Uh, put it on the heat. Once it starts boiling again, your isewu is ready. So let's just allow it to cook. 
can see it's beginning to pick it up. Now, time to swirl it. I'll be using my small motor. I'll be using my motor because this is what they use in dishing it, right? <laughs> so, just pour everything in, serve everything into the pot, into the wooden plate like this cold. everything in there you see that well this is the easier way after i dished it in my wooden plate but i'll be using a small you can see the baka you can see that so now i'm going to transfer some here see that Oh my goodness, this looks, <clears throat> oh my goodness, I hope this recipe will help you to make yours. I use some onions to garnish it, if you have a fresh leaf, fresh uh, otazi, and our uh, isio is ready. All right, guys, the ECO is ready, and this is my own portion. Mr. Pe will eat his when he comes back. Mm. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, if you like this video, and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Invite your friends. Drop your comment for me, and um, I will see you on my next video i hope this uh, recipe helps you to make your issue thanks for watching guys see you soon bye mm. Mm. Yum, yum. this is really delicious guys mm. this is really delicious Make sure you try this recipe and let me know what you think. Hmm, and spicy, just the way I like it. And Mr. I'm sure when Mr. Peck comes home, he's going to enjoy this to the fullest. All right, guys. Let me and Nina enjoy our food. See you soon. Bye.